Hey everyone, Jamie here from technicalcafe.com and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about nested loops in Java and how we can go about using them to make our programs a little bit more powerful and at the same time how we can use them to simplify our code a little bit, especially when it comes to looping through multiple things at the same time. So an example of a, a use case for nested loops would be if you're a teacher that teaches multiple classes and within each class you have multiple students. Um, instead of going into each class manually and pulling out information about your students, what you could do is go in and uh, create a program that has a set of nested loops. And what these nested loops will do is go to class 1, print all the information, then go to class 2, print all the information about the students, and so on and so forth. Another example might be if you own a chain of stores and you want to find out information about your employees, you just uh, create a program that go loops through your number, your stores, and with each within each store, loops through the people that are in the store that you have working for you. So let's take a look at the code here that we have and actually write some nested loops. So here we have a nested loops class, and within this class we have the main method. And over here is actually an example of what we're going to be doing. Uh, it doesn't have to do with any databases or, or stores or, or classrooms or anything like that. Uh, we're just going to be making a pyramid of asterisks here. Um, 11 lines long, and on each line is the number of asterisks uh, that correspond with the line number. And really quickly, let's jump back over here to our nested loops class and actually write the code to do this. So uh, it's quite simple um, in terms of uh, code here. And if you remember back to uh, tutorials on uh, conditional statements, you can nest conditional statements one after another, uh, basically infinitely. Uh, and you can do the same thing with nested loops. You can have a loop and a loop and a loop and just keep going um, until you've reached your desired result. So let's go ahead and start writing. So we'll say four int i equals zero, i is less than or equal to 10, and we're gonna increment i by one for each pass through the loop here. And we're just gonna open up a code block. And this is what's going to be our outer loop. So this is going to be the loop that's basically making the line breaks. And what you have here is we start at 0, uh, and then we're going to go to uh, 10, or less than or equal to 10, which is going to bring us to 10. And this is actually 11 lines. As you see here, we have 1 to 11. And we're going to increment by 1 each time. Within this loop is going to be the loop that actually writes the asterisks here. Uh, and that's going to be writing one asterisk, then two, then three, then four, until we hit 11. So let's go ahead and write the code for that. So we're going to say four int j equals zero. And we're going to be using a different uh, value here because we don't want to be using uh, the same one because that can cause some errors. And we're going to say j is less than or equal to uh, i. And then we're going to say j plus plus. And then we're just going to create a little code block. So let's go ahead and look at this uh, from the bigger picture here. So the inner loop here is going to be printing the asterisks, and we're going to start with whatever the number of the line is. So for example, let's say i is equal to 3. We're going to start uh, with j equal to 0, and we're going to go until j equals 3, because that's what i would be equal to. And if we jump over here to line 3, you'll notice that we're on line 3, which is the line number, and we're going to print 3 asterisks, uh, which is the desired result here. So in order to do that, what we're going to do here is include a print statement, and we're going to say system.out.print, and we're just going to print an asterisk uh, in a set of quotation marks here, a string. Um, and what we're going to do on the outer loop here is create a print uh, line statement to make the actual line break. Uh, as we have it right now, if we were to compile and run this, you'll notice that it just creates all of the asterisks on one simple line, and that's because we don't have a print line statement uh, in the outer loop. If we were to include a print line statement here in the inner loop, you'll notice that it creates just a bunch of asterisks uh, one after another with line breaks, and that's not our desired result either. So we have to have a mix between the two and come into our outer loop here and just say system.out.println, and I'm just going to create uh, an empty string here. And let's go ahead and compile and run this now, and you'll notice that we have uh, 11 lines each with uh, the number of asterisks that correspond to the line number. Uh, you can go ahead and play around with these values here just to see what would happen. So let's say, for example, we start with line 3. Uh, we come over here and compile and run this. You'll notice that we start with 4 asterisks because line 3 is technically line 4 because we start with 0, and then it just goes on to 11. Um, we can go over here and start with 0 and go up to 100, and you'll notice that it actually works quite nicely. We go from 1 to 100 asterisks here, and um, that's basically all there is to it. 
uh, feel free to play around with this and uh, use some other things with nested loops. If you have some knowledge of databases, maybe fill up a couple of tables and loop through them uh, and then print out the data within the tables, uh, things like that. Uh, please feel free to let me know if you have any questions in the comments, um, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching.